Before using the YSI Pro Plus Multimeter, we need to calibrate dissolved oxygen before every usage, before going out into the field. What we have here is a plastic storage sleeve with the probes. This is our dissolved oxygen probe. We have temperature and pH. What we will do is we just want to add a little bit of moisture into the storage sleeve. We want to make sure that our probes are not immersed in this water and we even shake off a little bit of the water droplets there. We screw on this plastic sleeve tightly and then disengage a couple of threads there. That will allow for atmospheric venting. Next step is to turn on the YSI multimeter using the power button there. So we have turned on the YSI multimeter and you will see numerous readings here. The first line is our temperature, our barometric pressure, our dissolved oxygen in milligrams per liter, a probe that is not connected, and our pH probe. Now we are going to wait 10 minutes for the dissolved oxygen probe to stabilize. After 10 minutes has passed, we are going to now calibrate the DO Pro. We hit CAL, the CAL button, which stands for calibration here. We are going to highlight DO in the window here and hit enter. And it provides a few options, DO percentage, DO milligrams per liter, and we want DO percentage. So we hit enter again on the meter. Now we can view and see if the dissolved oxygen percentage appears okay. For U Waterloo campus in our area, this ranges from 88 to 110 percent. Since we are satisfied with that reading, we are going to accept the calibration and we hit enter again. And now it brings us back to our main screen where we can go out into the field, into our field sampling location. Start by powering on the YSI multimeter and make sure to do this 10 minutes beforehand so that it's warmed up. Then take off the protective plastic sleeve and attach the black cage. This prevents the expensive probes from being damaged in the water from grinding against the rocks or the substrate. The probes on the YSI multimeter measure dissolved oxygen, pH, and temperature. When you're placing the probe in the water, you want to make sure that it is submerged up to the temperature probe, which is circled here. Make sure that you submerge the probes underneath the water, and if it's too shallow, you can also lay it on its side. Then you can take a look at the screen and you'll notice the numbers changing, so you'll want to wait a couple of minutes. Once the values have stabilized, you'll see an AS beside the value. When you're done, take off the YSI cage and rinse the probes off with tap water, never distilled water. You want to thoroughly rinse all the probes and then shake them to remove excess water droplets before putting the plastic protective sleeve back on. Next, we'll demonstrate how to measure electrical conductivity, or EC. First, attach the EC probe and make sure the YSI meter was turned on 10 minutes ahead of time if you weren't already using it. When placing it in the water, you need to make sure that it is submerged up until here. After placing it in the water and waiting for it to stabilize, your value for EC will be here on the screen. When you've finished, make sure to thoroughly rinse it with tap water and then turn off the meter.